Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today we're going to be continuing the Eden streak. This is run number three in our streak. Last time we had a, a hilariously broken run and it was a lot of fun. It was by far my most overpowered run in this entire game. And if you haven't seen it, it's actually insane. We had like six or seven item room, or secret room rerolls. Got Glitch Crown, Death Certificate, Soy Milk. Dr. Feeders, and it was just utterly mental. So if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. And um, with that, let's get on to run number three today. Eden, hard, run number three. Cool. Um, let's see what we got. Okay, we got little Hush, and we have the Scissors. Okay, both items I don't really like at all. Uh, LF2M, GH... Uh, my apologies. GDHL. There we go, that is the seed we are working with today. And um, for health, we got one red heart, two solis. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not a bad start. Um, we got some good damage, good fire rate, so I think we'll be okay. Um, I'm probably just not ever going to use the, uh, the scissors, if I'm completely honest. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the thing. Uh, Will of Fortune, okay. Trevor alone, that's pretty good. Little attack fly to get started with. So I'm recording this um, a couple of hours after the previous run, so uh, this still, um, yeah, I'm 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 ahead of videos, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm recording this on the 17th. I don't know why. I'm just really enjoying playing at the moment. Um, it's you know it's a new streak. I want to get this number up. I want to get it. Get it good. So uh, that's the thing. All right, let's get this for free. What's in here? Okay, nothing. Um, I don't think there could be a secret room there. Top secret? Maybe there will be. I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll, uh, we'll look at our full floor and then we'll go for it. If it is, uh, can't play the sack room because of the health situation, but we're okay. I, I want to say this is a secret room, but I really don't think it is. Um, let's also do that. We can open this up. Reverse strength. That weakens the boss, or weakens enemies, so sure. I think this is the first time I've ever actually used um, this item. But yeah, it's pretty good, as you can see. It, it'll just weaken, weaken bosses and enemies. Pretty good. Reverse strength. Made, uh, made that boss a piece of cake. Not literally. Um, but there we go. Alright, let's see. Can't do anything with that. Yeah, we don't have any other uh, any other bombs or anything. So I think we just move on. Nothing else we can do here. Not bad. I'm glad we don't have to worry about going to the alternate floors. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Rip that tinted drop. <sighs> so yeah. Oh, this is a, a yucky room. Pretty, pretty bad room. Uh. Okay, we're alright. That is a really horrible room. One of the worst uh, rooms you can get on a floor one. There's just too many of them. If you've got more than one champion, you're almost certainly going to get hit. And if you're at one health, like, that's it. You know? Kind of in trouble. But we, we got through it fine. Oh, hang on a minute. We could do something with this guy. Don't, oh, go away. Okay. Oh, okay, no secret room there. Uh, I wanted that guy to blow up, like, here, because I thought this was a secret room, but clearly not. Clearly not. We are my son. <laughs> no, I'm not going to start that again. <laughs> Uh, we've had a good couple of uh, good couple of episodes recently. The me and my son was episode one, and then we had that crazy game break last time as well. It was pretty fun, pretty fun indeed. I wonder what this run's gonna give us. Guess we will find out. Uh, we'll explore the whole floor before we move on. Before we do the boss. Um, trying to work out where the secret could be. It could be. Can't be there. Can't be there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
could be um by the challenge room maybe i i'm not sure but i believe i'm gonna break all of these open Just a regular cell of tools, just go in. Uh, this is almost certainly better than the scissors. So, uh, this book will give us a random familiar for the floor. Could be anything. In this case, it gave us Cuba meat. So, uh, you know, just a little bit of extra support. It's good stuff. Still no bomb. Uh, yeah, I'm almost certain the secret room is above the challenge room so it would be great if we were able to uh to get uh the matchstick or whatever or not the matchstick but um what's that item the item that gives you all the bombs i want to give you three bombs there didn't get it but that's fine um don't have enough health for the devil rooms so i think we're just gonna move on yeah pretty dry floor not much to it that's fine you get these floors every now and then I, I call them a dry floor because there's like nothing on it. Because, um, you know, I mean, you get juicy floors, right? Floors with a lot of good stuff on it. So you got to have the opposite, right? I guess you could call it a stale floor, maybe? I don't know. But overall, we're, we're doing okay. We've got a lot of... Um, Got a lot of tier 8. Doing alright. Uh, let's actually grab this battery. Because that means after this uh, floor, or after this room, we'll be able to use our monster manual. Here we go. What are we getting? Okay, angry attack fly. And uh, look at that, a hierophant there as well. Very nice. We have the health now. Oh, here we go. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> it finally happened. <laughs> Very nice. And that's that's good stuff right there. Uh, it finally happened. After all this time, we finally got a magic mush from a mushroom. Epic. Good stuff. So magic rush is a little bit different to uh, to your regular standard damage up. It is a damage multiplier, meaning every bit of damage we get on, uh, we, we we get every single bit of damage you get will give you more damage with magic rush than it would have done otherwise. So um, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, we can just steal stuff from this chest. See ya. There you go. Took all of that money. So yeah, magic mush is great. Uh, let's do this and that. Okay, left hand means that all the chests we find from now on will uh, will be red chests. Don't really want that if I'm being completely honest. Not really. What did that give us? What did the monster manual give us? I didn't. I didn't see. Ah. I honestly don't know. <laughs> it didn't seem to give us anything. Weird. It doesn't work once before, does it? Surely not. Weird. Uh, the dim bulb. It'll give you stats up when you have absolutely no charge. I'm just trying to think of how that would be useful. Um, yeah, I don't know. I suppose there's a couple of items where you can have it like permanently active. Like I think maybe glowing hourglass once you've used, like once you've used it three times, I guess might do that. A 
enough speed. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's go into the boss room now. Uh, actually, no, we'll go into our shop first. We've got, we've got, we've got plenty of money. What's in here? Okay. I'll, I'll just take that. Use it straight away. Uh, that's the item I wanted from my boss room. And you know what? Matchstick is going to be more useful to me. We've been short on bombs this whole run. Uh, I don't want to be short on it anymore. And I guess we'll go and check out our top secret room, because we couldn't get in there from before. Nice, a health up. I'll take that. It's good. Good stuff. Would like the uh, the extra coin. Just one more coin, so I could get the other item. Oh well. Ooh, look at you spawning, spawning these dudes. Easy. Magic mush. We got it. Uh, so this actually gives you a higher chance of planetarium. I don't know why the planetarium thing's not working. It because this I know it gives you a higher planetarium chance, Magic Eight Ball. So I don't know why. Is it just not working? Maybe I I don't know. I haven't seen anything other than other than one. Uh, so that is budget brimstone. Essentially, what we've got it shoots a uh, a long beam of light. You keep your tears, but um, yeah. That's what I like to call it. Just budget brimstone. You can't uh, make it any stronger. You can't make the charge rate any shorter. It's just as it is. And it's good. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I'm almost certain the, um, the planetarium chance is a bit bugged. I don't know why. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not a mod person, but I'm not going to turn it off. Um, I will leave it as it is. Uh, maybe updates every floor, I don't know, based on the items you have? Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's look at that. We have a 16% chance of a, um, of a thing now. Seems to update per floor. Uh, okay. Crow's Heart would be good right about now. So yeah. We've got a 16% chance of a planetarium to spawn. Oh yeah, Budget Brimstone also gives you flight as well. <laughs> That's just what I'm going to call it now. Budget Brimstone. Hey, there we go. We got one. Got a 16% chance. Very nice. Let's go to it straight away. Ah. Okay. That could have been really bad taking that. I, I really shouldn't have done that. But it's a blind floor, so that kind of sucks. I will not be going into my item room then. I mean, we already have a planetarium, so it's not going to do us. It's not going to do anything different, really. I hate blind floors. They they are stink. They are mega poo poo. But yeah, that could have been really bad. The uh, the planetarium picking up a blind one could have been um could have been Mars, which is double tap dash, which I guess isn't the worst, but like. It would make me get hit more, more often than not. Let me play. Um, okay, so that's two, two books. Black art, sure. 
Why not? Uh, I could have gone into that curse room. That's fine though. I feel very strong for this point in the game. Come on, come over here. There you go. I just wanted him to crush that. Could have killed him earlier. There you go. Marbles? Nah. Nah. Uh, I'm not even going to check that. There's no point. Can't see it. Alright, go on then. Nah, not taking it. If, it. if there was a two, I might have considered it, but one? Nah. Uh, let's go. We're flying through this game. <laughs> Absolutely flying through. And I don't even mean to. I Another blind floor? Really? Come on, game. Don't give me that. Let me have my fun. It's very unluckily two blind floors in a row. Will we get a third? Who knows? Uh. Oh yeah, I haven't been using this. Or you should do. Budget Brimstone's really good. Very strong. Ow. My life flashed before my eyes when I saw that. I, it, it's like I blinked at the wrong time. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, flat pennies, okay. Probably should take flat penny. Now that I think about it. go. Uh, let's see. Cool. Um, I guess we use this again. Yeah, no point going to our item room. What a weird run. What a very strange run. It feels like a speed run. It feels like a speed run. Alright, let's move on. Can't go into our item room because it's blind. I'm not taking blind items. Could be terrible. Come on, please. No blind floor this time. Hey, no blind floor. Very nice. Fast bombs? I mean, I guess. Fast bombs for a fast run. 16 minutes. We might even make... <laughs> I think we're going to make boss rush. Which never happens. I never make boss rush. I don't think we will. But you never know. Uh. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we're not going to make boss rush. I, I, I've determined it right now. I'm not going to make it. I, I don't want to make it. I'm not into boss rush. Usually there's no point. There really just is no point. It's like four items for the sake of rushing your run. 
And those items might not even be that good. Well, I mean, say four items. One of four items. And it might not even be that good. Is it worth it? Not to me. Cool. I mean, I guess I'll just take that. And, uh, sure, I'll take this. And take that. And you know what? That machine's looking a little bit dire. Let's uh, fill it up a little bit. As much as I could. Some brimstone beam this. There we go. Uh, we got enough bombs. We can do this. Okay, we got two cards. Reverse sun. Ace of diamonds. We'll play a couple more. Okay, one more card. What's this one? Judgment? Ah, oh, full. Well, we'll hold on to it. <laughs> I mean, you know what happened last time we had the reverse full. So, uh... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hold on to it. Also, all the doors are open because we have uh, the planetarium item. Was it Mercurius? I think it was Mercurius. Essentially, all the doors are just freely open. You can walk in and out of rooms as you please. If there's a room you don't like, you can just skip it. But I'm not going to do that. I don't want that. Pretty strong. Unlimited bombs for the floor. How useful. Uh, don't even really need this. I mean, we'll play you just to see what you get. But if it's a health up, I'm not taking it. I don't need to. Okay, box, sure. Why not? What are you, devil card? I mean... Whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's a run, right? The game is just giving it to me. It's like, here, I feel bad for making you lose that one run. Just have a free one on me, it seems. Either that, or um, I'm just so used to going to the mother route now for like 50 plus runs in a row that um, this game is just so easy because because of it, right? That might be it. I'm just so used to going to the really hard floors that the normal floors are just so easy to me. I don't know. Take Polaroid and let's move on. Oh, <laughs> game, come on. I was having an easy enough run as it is. Can you give me that? Well, okay. There's uh, the other key piece, just in case we want to do Mega Satan, we get strong enough. Um, so that one we picked up was the Holy Mantle, and essentially it gives you one free hit in every single room. See this little plus symbol right here? When you get hit, you lose the plus, and then you will take damage like normal. Um, so yeah, every room it recharges and is overpowered. Um, especially as like the Lost, for example, or a Tainted Lost. I mean, the Lost starts with it. But uh, Tainted Lost does not.
Revelation is the name of Project Brimstone. That's it. I just call it Budget Brimstone because, I mean, the thing is, right, about this game is that they, uh, they, they made sure that in Repentance that it was perfectly balanced. So, essentially, if there was an item in the Devil Room, they would give it an equivalent in the Angel Room. Oh, look at that, a rainbow enemy. They're kind of rare. So, for example, um, Brimstone, right? Really, really powerful item. They thought... Let's give it, get an item that's kind of the same as Brimstone, but not quite, to kind of rival it and make you think, well, maybe I should pick the other other floor instead or the other the other type of room. And um, yeah, Revelation is the counterpart to Brimstone. I believe I mentioned that in the last uh, the last episode, there's one song that I didn't like from the soundtrack um, with this uh, this mod that we're now using. It's this song. The synth is just too repetitive. It's just too repetitive. I, I wish... I wish it was something different. But beside that, the soundtrack so far has been banging. I've, I've really, really had a good time with it. It feels fresh, it feels new, different. Still at the moment, the soundtrack is still going. <laughs> okay, it stopped, finally. But it, yeah, it's just too repetitive for me. Oh, it's Christmas Day again. Right, what goodies do we have here? Oh, a judgy as well. Ooh. Algas, answers. Okay, well, we'll play judgy here. Because I have a plan. Okay. Um, see, Soul of Eden will re roll something, but it's like as if you had the item Chaos sort of re roll. Black Room will absorb any items in the room, and then this, Soul of the Lost, will allow you to become the Lost for one room, which essentially means you could get a double room for free. So, um, it's a tricky one. I think what we do, we take Black Room with us, just in case we get a really bad Angel Room, if we do get one, because it's like 25%. And then what we do is we come in here, um, absorb this health and then take this with us. That's how I think we play this. Oh hey, it's Mama Gertie, the boss that spike attack cannot do anything to me. Ow, good shot. Got some high, fi high shot speed there. Okay, well we didn't get our room, so that's fine. Um, just in case, because I'm not 100%, I'm going to take this out of the room first, because I don't know if Black Room will absorb that. And I don't want to absorb it, because I want to take that with me. Uh, let's absorb. It does absorb them. Okay. Good thing I brought this out. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Because yeah, we can now take this uh, Soul of Eden to the chest now. And uh, that's probably where I'm going to use it. Hello. 
lol. That's what the uh, that's what that room spells, by the way. It just spells lol. Don't want any more health. I'm good. Gone. My face is gone. Uh, okay, let's uh, take this, I guess, and use it again. hit you. There we go. Oh wow, we got hush. <laughs> uh, hmm, nah, I I don't want to do hush. Do we? I think we do. We've got the health for it. We're not weak. Got the health for it. We're gonna get two item rooms and a, a shop down there. Let's do it. First hush of the YouTube channels right here. So if you make it to the uh, Mom's Heart boss fight before the 30 minute mark, you can go here onto this secret floor. And uh, yeah, you can get some extra stuff. Wow, Ipecac. I kind of don't want that, if I'm honest. I don't want it, Pekek. That's going to ruin our tier rate. Even though we now have maximum tier rate. And, you know, the fear of me hitting myself is also there as well. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go in here and do a little re-roller. Yeah, I'll take that, spider bite. Uh, what else? Empress? Hell yeah, that's really good. We'll use that for the fight. And uh, yeah, let's go. Bet you never thought you'd see me do a hush fight. One of the slowest Binding of Isaac players. The Empress. It's my range for this fight, I think. Is uh, our weakest thing. Don't have the range. Yeah, well, there's our shield gone. Right, and here's Hush. Yeah, we're melting him. Look at that. Don't expect this to be a regular occurrence, okay? <laughs> Don't, don't expect this. It's just, I don't know. I, we've just gone really fast and we're able to keep ourselves going, you know? So yeah, I feel that whenever I go for um, for unlocks in this game, in, in the past, I've always found that this is the problematic floor to get to. Um, this right here, like, and, and how I did the unlocks when I originally did them, 
is do boss rush, hush, delirium in one run. Um, but of course, you've got to make sure you get a really strong start for that. Um, otherwise, you're not making it. Uh, then I would do a regular run, so go to the chest. Then I would go down to Satan. Then I'd do Mother, and then I would do Beast. And, um, yeah, I'd probably do Greed after, maybe? I think I did Greed after. I can't remember. Something like that. Greed and Greed, yeah. I'm bad at avoiding this move. I think that the strategy for this is to look at the um, look at the, the shadows of the tears on the floor and avoid the shadows. But it's kind of hard to do so when the tears are you know look glowing, flashing purple. Oh, they changed these beams as well. I did not know that. There's a um, because yeah, that's from the better beams mod gives them uh, thicker borders and makes them look, look better. And yeah, so there you go. It, it turns out that that's one of the things they changed. Um, yeah, those like blue beams, I will say, is the worst move that this boss has. If you've got really slow speed, um, you're, you're pretty much dead. You, you, you can't avoid them with slow speed. You need to be a quick boy. Uh, so, if you wanted to go to the void, this is a guaranteed spawn every single time. So, that's how I, that's why I did Delirium on my boss rush hush and Delirium um, runs for the unlocks. Because you guaranteed get a Delirium run. Um, anyway, uh, let's move on to the Cathedral. Nice. Got a little bit closer personal there with the ghosts. Algus? Nah. Oh, I don't need any of this. Yeah, these skull dudes are the most dangerous enemies on this floor. For, for sure. Yeah, I don't need any of those trinkets. None of them benefit this run whatsoever. What are we up to? 35 minutes. Yeah, this might be the uh, the new speedrun. <laughs> We might, we might be done in practically no time at all. I'm not trying to rush, but it just it just happens, right? I feel strong enough where I can just breeze through the game. Once again, this song is the... Um, a sleep token song that's been slowed down. What do you have? You got a library here. favorite books. Free Soul Heart. You got Bookworm as well, so an occasional double shot. Book of Sin. And Satanic Bibble. We'll take the Satanic Bibble with us for a bit of extra juice. A little bit of extra health. 
overall pretty straightforward run. The game has, has had my back. It's been like, look, you deserve this win, Zanti boy. We'll give you a hard one next time, though. Ow. It's fine. I didn't even take damage. What are you? Oh, range down? Oh, great. Lucky with the, uh, the light spawn there. Nice. And onto the chest at 37 minutes. <laughs> this is a short one, this. Jeez. Alright. A D6. Wow. Uh, do we have a roll for this? Not, or, not quite. Hold, hold on a second, D6. I'll be right back. Give me, give me a mo D6. I'll be back. Okay, okay. Now my, now the D6 is my best friend. Yoink. Uh, yes. And I'll be back for all of these. Some extra soul hearts if I need them. And there we go. By the way, if anyone has any more uh, suggestions for some mods we could add. Um, that'd be great. Um, of course it wouldn't be for this series, for Series 3 or Season 3, it would be for the next one. Um, keep in mind that I don't want any, like, proper gameplay changing ones, okay? So, like, I don't want to add new items. Um, more like, I don't know, I guess visual things, or... Just little fixes, I guess, would be great. Um, but I don't want anything that will... Yeah, really mess with the way the game plays, if that makes any sense. More visual things, more quality of life changes, I guess, but nothing that will drastically change the game. I want it to be recognisable. I don't want to add like new enemies or anything like that. Just, just the game as it is, but with some small visual tweaks or what have you. Like, um, here's an idea. Like the uh, the metal slug explosions is a perfect example, right? It's a visual thing. Just changes the look of explosions, make them look a bit more fancy. Doesn't affect the gameplay whatsoever. Just things like that. That's fine. And I'll, uh, I'll look at them and I'll consider them. Right, okay. I think you know what's coming. That's definitely not me. Um, right, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see. Here we go. Triple re-roll in our item room. What we getting? Okay, 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 fine.
Alright, let's keep going. Oh, my least favourite room in the whole game. Or well, one of them. Currently my least favourite room in the whole game is, um... A mind challenge room. Yes. If you know, you know. Oh, I did a diagonal there. A mind challenge room, because that's what killed... Um... Oh, hang on. I want to. I want to test this. I want to see. Okay, this is for science. I've never seen these two in the same run. I've never seen this happen before. Okay, so with the tick, I'm pretty sure that usually you can't get rid of it once you've like picked it up. However, apparently you can get rid of it with the matchstick. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Little trick. Uncommon to see that. Spin down's really good. But I kind of want to keep my um, my rerolls. Yeah, usually you can't put down the tick, ever. Once you picked it up, you cannot put it down. However, um, with the matchstick, that is the only exception. So yeah, pretty good. So yeah, if we ever start with the tick as, uh, as Eden, that's our ticket out of it. I mean, either way, it's not a bad trinket. I believe it just reduces boss's health by like 10%, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> you know, it's not a bad trinket. It's just, if I wanted to get rid of it, I'd have to use the matchstick to get rid of it. I'm able to do a diagonal. Let me just check. Oh yeah, apparently we have diagonal tiers. I don't know how we got that. I don't know what's causing that. Maybe it's just revelation that causes that. Maybe. Okay, let's go and re-roll our item room or secret room again. I think you know what I'm after. It's not a really big deal because we're like at the very end anyway, but still. Yeah. Whatever. We'll just take all this now. Oh well, maybe we will see. Maybe we'll see glitched crown another time. Yeah, I realized we didn't have much of a floor left, so I just thought I'll just take it. All right, let's see. Uh, let's do that. Here. There we go. And now for the final boss. It should be a piece of cake. Easy peasy. Easy peasy indeed. Uh, but we're not done. We're not finished with this run, of course. Okay, whatever. Let's go and do Mega Stan. My man, Mega Stan. I feel strong enough to do it. We got plenty of health. I haven't lost any health in like 12 floors or something. <laughs> A long time. This guy. Spawning in extras. Can't do that.
next step. Or the deadly sins. Angel 1 and Angel 2 phase two i can't believe it this run we've done <laughs> we've done what would be like four unlocks it's crazy not even unlocking stuff we're just, just casually playing even i say casually we go we're going for a streak here some pro level dodges right there. Almost that. The poison bomb for extra. And there we go. Mega Stanley down. I don't think I'm good enough for delirium, so let's just go into the chest. And that's it. That's the end of the run. Thank you for watching. It's been a fun one. Nice and easy one. That was run number three as Eden in our brand new streak for series three or season three. I don't know which one's better, season or series. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a good one and a goodbye.